Assalamualaikum and hello everyone. In this video, I would like to share the tutorial on how to carry out a virtual experiment uh, for capture, mark, release and recapture technique, Biology Form 5, KSSN, Chapter 9. Alright, so we are going to um, carry out the experiment in the website called virtualbiologylab.org. I will share the link for the website in the description below this video. Okay, once you click the link, you will see this screen. Okay, um, what is on the screen? You can see there is a speed bar on top and on the right side, there are control settings where you can change according to your experiment. Okay, let us see the speed bar first on top. Actually, you can shift the button to the left. You will see that the animal will move slower. Or you can um, shift the button to the right and you can see that the animal move faster. Right? Uh, so now, let us see the control setting that we need to change. So for today's activity, um, what I want you to do is to set the population size to large. Okay? Large. So, when you click large, the actual number here is 100. You should see 100. Let's say if you see 50, uh, a number of animal means you need to reset. Yeah, You click reset so that uh, the number will be actual number. For large population size, it will be 100 number of animal. Okay, And then for distribution, you set random. For trap experience, you uh, set neutral uh, and then you just tick the box for see all here, right? And then for the number of trap, okay, the number of trap, you can choose whether you want to uh, just use one trap, <coughs> two trap, four or eight. But I want you all to choose either four or eight trap, okay? Don't choose one or two. Okay, so for today's demo, I would like to use four trap. Alright, and um, you can see here there are four trap. If you choose eight trap, for example, okay, you need to click reset and then you will get eight trap on your screen. Okay, I change back to four, reset. Then below the number of trap, you can see the trap time. Um, you can choose how many, how many hours that you want to carry out the experiment virtually. So let's say I put eight hours. Yeah. All right. And then um, what we're going to do is we need to shift the position of the trap. Okay. We, uh, we cannot just leave the trap in a row like this. We must shift the trap so that it is placed randomly. So we start with uh, trap number one. So you just Click the button up, left, right, down here. So it's up to you where you want to put. Easy, easy, right? Okay, then we go to track two. Where you want to put, you just click the button. Okay, and then track three. And trap four. Okay. Let's say I want to put uh, the trap like this, right? You can arrange uh, the trap according to the position that you like. Okay, so we are going to start our experiment now. Okay, before we start our experiment, just check below the uh, screen. You can see the data. The data now is zero because we we are not yet start the experiment. So what we do now is after you place the trap randomly, you will open the trap. Okay, so you click open. Okay, you can choose whether you want to stop whenever uh, you want or you can wait for the timer. Uh, means the timer, uh, when it reaches 8 hours, it will close automatically. Okay, but you can stop in the middle. If you don't want to wait for 8 hours, you can stop. Okay, but I want to wait for uh, the time, 8 hours. Okay, you see the 
trapped. Okay, it closed automatically. All right. You can see the animal are trapped in the uh, animal trap, right? So now after you capture, after you do your first capture, what um, what you do is you need to mark. So you click mark goals. Okay. When you click mark goal, all the animal in the trap will be marked. And you can see the data below here shows number. Okay. So how many uh, animal actually trapped in the uh, all the four traps? It's actually 64 animals. Okay, 64 animals. So the marked animal in the trap also 64. Okay. So after you mark the animal, now you need to release them in their own habitat. So you release them. You can see that the marked animal and unmarked animal are mixed randomly in the population. So one of the assumptions that we should make while doing this experiment is uh, the marked animal and the unmarked animal are mixed randomly yeah, yeah, in their habitat. Okay, so now we want to um, do the second capture. So we open the trap again. Okay, while opening the uh, trap, you can see the timer is running here. So we wait for the time to run until eight hours and the trap will close automatically. Okay. Okay, now when it reached eight hours, the trap will be closed automatically and just take a look in the trap. You can see that there is animal mark and unmark in the trap. Yeah, and we can see also there is mark animal that not enter the trap. Okay. So let us see the data below here change already because we have complete uh the second capture okay so how many animal in the second capture animal uh, total animal trap in the second capture is 63 and from the 63 animal in the second capture 41 animal mark in trap 41 uh, uh, mark animal in the trap okay so we have done uh, we have complete the experiment so by using this data we can actually calculate the population size of the animal. Okay, what, what is the formula for the population size of animal? Do you remember? Okay, the population size refers to the number of animal in the first capture, which is 64, times the number of animal in the second capture, which is 63, over or divided with the number of mark animal in the second capture, 41. So 64 times 63 divided by 41, okay, you will get the estimate population size will be 98.3. Okay, you can um, uh, check yeah, using your calculator. So it will give you 98.3, the population size of the animal so by using this uh, virtual biology lab.org we can actually carry out virtual experiment um, and we will understand better on how to carry out the experiment okay i hope that you all um, are able to understand the step in carry out the experiment okay, and enjoy doing the experiment Thank you. See you again in the next video.